Hi everyone, in this video of mensuration, we shall take up two very important questions related to area of trapezium. Now, as you can see in the given figure, we have two opposite parallel sides as A and B and two non-parallel side as C and D. And further, the height or the distance between them is H. Now, let us revise the formula of area of trapezium which is equal to half into sum of parallel sides into distance between them. That is, area is equal to half in bracket A plus B into H. Now, let's take up question number one. A field is in the shape of a trapezium. One of its parallel sides is twice the other parallel side and distance between them is 100 meters. If the area of the field is 10,500 meters square, find the length of the parallel sides. So given in this question, one of the parallel sides of a trapezium ABCD is twice the other parallel side. Height is equal to 100 meters, area is equal to 10,500 meters square. And we have to find the length of the parallel sides. That is, we have to find the A and the B. Now let's start with the solution. Since one of the parallel sides of the trapezium ABCD is twice the other parallel sides, let us assume A is equal to X and B is equal to 2X. Now area of trapezium is equal to 10,500 meters square that is given to us. Now we will write half into A plus B into H is equal to 10,500. Further, we shall substitute the value of A, B and H in this formula and we will write half in bracket X plus 2X into 100 is equal to 10,500. Now 100 will be divided by 2 and we will get 50 and X plus 2X is 3X. So we shall write 3X into 50 is equal to 10,500. Now we shall cross multiply, we will write x is equal to 10,500 upon 3 into 50 which is equal to 70 meters. Therefore a is equal to x is equal to 70 meters, b is equal to 2x is equal to 2 into 70 which is equal to 140 meters. So this is how we have found the length of the two parallel sides that is a and b. Now let's start question number 2. Two parallel sides DC and AB of a trapezium are 12 cm and 36 cm respectively. If non-parallel sides are each equal to 15 cm, find the area of trapezium. So given in this question, the two parallel sides that is A and B, their measurements are 12 cm and 36 cm and the other two equal sides are 15 cm each. And we have to find the area of trapezium. Now this question involves two steps. Step 1. First of all, we shall find the height of the given trapezium with the help of construction. And in step 2, we shall find the area of trapezium. Now let's start with the solution. Let ABCD be the given trapezium in which AB, that is B, is equal to 36 centimeter, CD that is A is equal to 12 centimeter, AD that is C is equal to 15 centimeter and BC that is D is equal to 15 centimeter. So AD and BC are equal to 15 centimeter each. Now we shall do some construction. First one through C draw CF parallel to AD. Then second construction draw CE perpendicular to AB. Now, FB, which is equal to AB minus AF, further we will write 36 minus 12 is equal to 24 centimeter. So, FB has come 24 centimeter. Since AD is parallel to CF and CD is parallel to AF, we can say AFCD is a parallelogram and AD is equal to CF is equal to 15 centimeter. Now, CF is equal to 15 cm, BC is, was also equal to 15 cm and FB we have calculated it is 24 cm. Since CF is equal to BC is equal to 15 cm, that means two sides of the 
triangle are equal to each other. Therefore, we can say triangle CFB is an isosceles triangle. Again, in an isosceles triangle CFB, as FB is a part of AB and CE is perpendicular on AB by construction, therefore we can say CE is also perpendicular to FB. Now, when CE is perpendicular on FB in an isosceles triangle, we can say E is the midpoint of FB. Therefore, FE is equal to half of FB, which is equal to half into 24 centimeter, which is equal to 12 centimeter. Therefore, we can say FE and BE both are 12 centimeter as shown in the given figure. Now, in right angle triangle CEF, CF square is equal to FE square plus CE square by Pythagoras theorem. Now we shall substitute the values. We will write 15 square is equal to 12 square plus CE square. Further 225 is equal to 144 plus CE square. Therefore CE square is equal to 225 minus 144 which is equal to 81. Now further CE is equal to root of 81 which is equal to 9 centimeter. Therefore H is equal to 9 centimeter that is the height of the trapezium now is calculated as 9 centimeter. Now let us move to step 2 where we have to find the area of trapezium. Now we know area of trapezium is equal to half in bracket A plus B into height. Now we shall substitute the values. We will write half in bracket 12 plus 36 into 9 which is equal to half into 48 into 9 which is equal to 216 centimeter square. Therefore, the area of trapezium is equal to 216 centimeter square. So, this is how we have calculated the area of trapezium in this question when the height was not given. So, first of all, we calculated the height of trapezium which came 9 centimeter and then we found the area of trapezium. So, hope you have understood these two questions. Thank you everyone.